Skate parks are radical. It's a creative place for a lot of creative people. The mainstream doesn't understand it. Nobody wants us around here, there, or anywhere else. We know what brings people together. If the communities would allow us to do that, they would find that more and more skate parks are necessary. My name is Stevie Dredd. I skateboarded for over 35, 40, almost 40 years now, and I've ridden some of the greatest parks, some of the crappiest parks, and just some things that just weren't made for skating. I think what makes it hard to lobby for a skate park is the unfamiliarity of the people who are in control of what gets built and what doesn't get built. It took a lot of committee meetings and things to get the city to understand that skateboarding is actually a really cool activity, and you'll find that it isn't as scary and dangerous as you think it is, nor is it as uh, troublesome as you want it to be so you can put the no on it. In this day and age, people are doing it themselves. This is Villa Park Skate Park. Due to recent vandalism and reported gang activity, the village threatened to shut the place down. When I first did the skate park, it was when it closed down, I was kind of mad because I'm only 10 and I can't drive anywhere else, you know? Seven of the many local skaters who go to the park went to one of the village board of trustees' formal meetings. Uh, I'm Dylan Shea. We heard that you were going to like maybe tear the park down and it like keeps us off the streets. We're not out causing trouble. Like We're busy skateboarding. With the help of Paulina Jimenez, these kids formed a skate park community to try and help save the skate park. There was a, a need to get the group of the kids organized in order to really get across their message. And with so many people supporting this, the village has agreed to relocate and rebuild the park just as soon as they get the funding for it. The village claims it could take up to two years. Cheerios and soup. You cost it with Toby. We find our artists, so I do paintings and also computer graphic works. So yeah, they had nothing to do with skating whatsoever. You want chocolate milk too, Nikki? Mainly my song it was my inspiration. When he was around, I think it was seven or six years old. We have moved to this area, Villa Park. One of my neighbors across the street, she mentioned, hey, have you been to the, the skate park in Villa Park? And that day, I was the day I will never forget. It didn't look like a park. <laughs> I was outraged, I was really upset. I went with the intention of taking pictures of my son and I ended up taking pictures of the condition of the park. Nothing was gonna happen if somebody just commit to a change. It was easy to go there and, you know, and talk and show the pictures and complain about it, but it was a lot harder to do something about it. Please state, state your name. Hi, my name is Paulina Jimenez. As the mother whose uh, son participated in the sport of skateboarding, I would like to see a better skate facility than the one we presently have. We came here a while ago um, talking about the skate park and how you should how we should rebuild it. We've gone a long, we've gone a long way, and we've got a lot to do. We wanted a new skate park and like you know something to happen. There's not even like drinking fountains or anything around here, you know. So we wanted something to be changed. Now it's in the process. So it's great, thanks to you too. I searched and researched areas of where I wanted to open. Once I met Paulina and the enthusiasm that she had for getting a park built, I knew immediately that, that Villa Park would be a great place to build 
a full service skate shop. It's nice. We're here to talk about our skate park, you know, and we wanted a new one because the old one sucks ass. There's kids over there smoking butt all the time, you know, just getting fucked up, drinking beers. It was bad. We didn't want to build an everyday park. It's not a ramp and run. It's been planned and we took our time and designed it. Right, right from about the beginning, I, I contacted the Tony Hawk Foundation. That I didn't know much about them back then. I found about them online, and I found that they have even a book, like a, literally, how to build a public skate park in your community. I was put in a situation where I was like, okay, what do I have to do? Number one, I was a young mom, a <laughs> little girl, Hispanic new in town. English wasn't my main language, so I had to do many things that I wasn't comfortable doing. Go to meetings and talking to politicians. No, no, he's a great guy. Al Voltes, how are you? Okay, how are you? Good, good. So you got that grant? Uh, yes, that's great. we're really excited. Tony Hawk Foundation recently awarded a 10,000 grant to assist in the construction of the skate park in Villa Park. Acceptance of this grant requires a commitment by the recipient for completion of the project within a certain period of time. Dear President Cullerton and Village Trustees, um, on behalf of the Villa Park Skate Park Committee, we would like to inform how excited we are that we were selected from many of the uh, hundreds of applications that the Tony Hawk grant gets every year for the award of $10,000. This grant is so important because it kind of gives the stamp of approval of one of the most prestigious and uh, um, foundation in the sport industry, industry and it validates that our project is a good one. I hope that you can count on your support on that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you guys get over here first. You're in the back row. All you guys have just said, go line up first. <laughs> One, two, three. So how do you imagine life after the, the skate park? Uh, it's finally built. <laughs> Heaven on earth. When we received the grant from Tony Hawk, the village was supposed to match that $10,000. They only matched us three. Nobody could predict what happened with the economy. That was like a tsunami that hit everybody. And then everybody became tied with their money. The phone grants were psh. We didn't want them to be skating in the street. You eliminate that. It's not like they're gonna be, okay, well then I just stop skating. They gotta do it. <laughs> it's kind of like taking a, a canvas out of a painter. Well, okay, well, I'll paint on the wall. Welcome to the Pepsi Refresh Project. This year we're giving millions to fund ideas that will refresh the world. Your ideas, voted on by the public. Here's how it works. Okay, guys, if I can have your attention for a few minutes, we submitted an application for the Pepsi Refresh Grant. We wanna be in the top 15. Those are the ones that win the $25,000 grant. You can buy a uh, two liter of Pepsi in the store, and when you open the cab, there will be a code. That code could mean an extra 10, 25, all the way to 100 points, extra points of vote. Ready, set, go. because I did 80 at home. So 275 here in 80 homes so of 355. our best bet is with the power boats, but the time frame that's our only. Yeah. Unless we can get thousands and thousands of people from mm -hmm. somewhere to go. But right now, the, these last four positions, Yo, can you go over there by the kitchen? Yeah. And I asked, what? Well, 
Okay, the Mickey Mouse cup is dirty. I have I to clean it. Okay, so you see, <laughs> we're at twenty. I just scratched my head. Okay, what what are we doing, bro? We're working really hard. This job that's in our soda. Okay. We have been thinking about strategies at this point with the time left that we have. We're yeah. not gonna do anything, any move, unless we enter thousands of or mm -hmm. more uh, at this point to move up. So let's see what happens. It's been a long three years of kids feeling that it's never really gonna happen. Because I get first-hand comments from them while they're sitting on the bench here in the shop. They're never going to build that skate park. It's never going to happen. Paulina is such a spark in the creation of this park that once she's lost a little bit of zeal in it, two days later she has twice as much zeal as she had before. Somebody that Scott knows, the church that he belongs to compete for the Pepsi Refresh Grant last month, and they won. And the reason why they won is because he was accessing a lot of the Pepsi cups from this recycling center. I can spot them, I spot them like even from a little tiny corner now, like like bionicle eye, like oh, I see one. Ah, yeah, absolutely. They got uh, some numbers in there. Yeah, that's what we need, Edwin. Thank you. What happened is the village doesn't come through. We have to return all the money that was donated for the project back to those people. And, and we will announce that. And you know how bad that will look? We will be the first organization that Tony Hawk get their money back. I'll tell you what, it will lose. It wasn't because we didn't try hard enough, right? <laughs> The cast have been squished in the recycling center. The coal gets damaged. You have to take that out. And then I <laughs> use a magnifying glass to see if I can interpret the code, if possible, you know, like this. Okay, I got it. X57, X57, looks like an L. Oh, this one is tricky one. I don't know what this. One, two, three. Four, five. So that's 15, ah, six. So that's 1600 right here in, uh, in my house. <laughs> the cats are so nasty when I pick them up from the recycling center, so I have to clean them like in hot water. <laughs> One, two, three, 50, eight, 59, 60. Thank you so much. Okay, great. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, I got a babysitter. You literally are working on a few hours of sleep and uh, a lot of coffee in the process. And it takes a toll. She digs through the garbage every day. I can't get her to clean the house, but she digs through the garbage. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Come here. Fire. It's late now. We have to get ready for bed, okay? No. Yeah. See, it's all about attention. Everybody wants attention. This one wants attention. The dog wants attention. That one wants attention. And there's only one mama. <laughs> oh, we moved to 14. Ah, I gotta tell Brian. Brian, we moved to 14.
So in summary, we need a well-built skate park that reflects the needs of the local skaters and community. I think communities are now starting to respect the discipline that it takes to do this. These types of unique structures lend themselves to what is missing in society, and that's a common place to gather ideas, thoughts, energies. This skate park could be the positive outlet for the creative physical activity and provide a safe place for our children to practice the sport of skateboarding. It's brought a community of people who otherwise wouldn't have anything to do with each other together. Skateboarding is for boys, girls, men, women, everybody. The vision of a beautiful skate park with the state-of-the-art facilities can come true and is one that we can all certainly feel proud of it. On that note, it's time to go skate. selection of that construction company. That part is crucial. I'm most embarrassed to just be on camera right now because I'm like extremely stressed at this point. This is wrong. This is wrongboarding.com right here. We could lose money. We could lose the grants. Everything falls. It's like a domino effect.